we are, is going to be on the screen. And those of you who are watching online, I think, what do they do? How do you take it off? How do you get it off? Just screenshot. All right? And I'm sure we'll send it out as well. So, your blessing. Mm, look at it. I will hear long-awaited news this year. In Jesus' name. How many believe you will hear long-awaited news this year? Number two. Beautiful. And there are scriptures for each blessing. Every force holding on to me will drop off as a coal of fire. Marada show my enemy will be glad to leave me alone. Every unsolvable problem will be solved this year. The end has come to every peculiar problem in my life. Oh, yes. Number three. Receive these blessings as I'm declaring them. In the name of Jesus. Whatever I've been a victim of. Eh? If you have been a victim. Are you standing? Hold your holy communion. Whatever you have been a victim of and be deceived about and been cheated off is being restored to you throughout this year by the blood of Jesus. Your health is restored this year. Your, miracle, your finances are miraculously restored in the name of Jesus. Number four, I receive supernatural lift your hand say i receive supernatural guidance throughout this year by the guidance of the holy spirit i reverse every decline of my life i will not be found anymore at the same spot next year by this time do you believe it say i believe it are you holding your bread i sense the lifting everybody i sense the lifting of sieges over my life. Say it. I sense this, the lifting. Say I sense it. How many can sense that the siege is being lifted? Oh yes. Next year about this time my story will be different. This year are you holding your, your holy communion and say this year I will see abundance. I am restored to glory and I am restored to my office. I will be chosen again. I said you'll be chosen again. Are you holding your holy communion? Ha makasatura mana number six. I sense the counting of storms. How many can sense it? The counting of certain storms in your life. There will be a great calm in every aspect of my life this year. The plague. Did you hear me? I said the plagues, the curses, and the punishment is over. Anything you are being punished for eh, is over now in Jesus' name. Are you holding your holy communion? Number seven, every defeat of my life will be turned to victory. I will say it. I will never be associated with or identified with failure and defeat anymore in my life shout your loudest amen shout your loudest amen every shame in my life will be turned to glory say amen my sins are forgiven through the blood of Jesus I can't hear your amen say amen when you hear a powerful statement then you must shout amen my shame is covered. I receive the blessedness of forgiveness. Lift your holy bread. Father, as we take, partake of this holy communion, thank you for healing for everyone. You said, I am the bread of life that come down from heaven. He that eateth thee, me shall have life. He shall not die. Thank you for life in 2022. No one here, no one under the sound of my voice can die this year. In the name of Jesus. Thank you.
Thank you for the body of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the mercies of Jesus. We receive them. The body of Jesus Christ. Now the blood. Every failure. You know why we need the blood? Failure. We are always failing. The Bible says we've fallen short. That's the meaning of failure. We, we, we fell short of the mark. Look at it. Every failure in my life will be turned to success this year. Today marks the end of all struggles in my life. Every negative and evil and wicked thing that followed me to this service will not and cannot follow me home. Can I hear your loudest amen? Every spiritual dog which follows you everywhere, it cannot follow you after this Holy Communion service. In Jesus' name. And the 10th blessing, I will return next year. Everybody say, it, I will return next year. Say, I will be alive next year by this time. The prophecy you believe is the prophecy that will happen. Say, I will be blessed through all through this year. I will be fruitful next year by this time. I declare that my life and ministry shall flourish as never before this year. All through this year, I will be a shepherd, a pastor, a basenta leader, a fruitful vine in the house of the Lord. Say it, everybody, say it. Amen. I will surely see the difference between those who serve the Lord and those who serve him not I will go forward and become very great this year hey I didn't hear you say I will go forward I will go forward and become very great this year this year this year this year hold up the blood May this blood answer, you know, a lot of questions about you. A lot of accusations about you. A lot of dislike about you. A lot of envy about you. A lot of despisement. A lot of questions. A lot of whys. And what? May the blood of Jesus answer every question about you. May you be justified. May you be forgiven. May you be healed. May you be shown mercy and acceptance in the beloved through this mighty and precious blood of Jesus Christ. By this blood, you shall return next year by this time to give thanks to the Lord. This year, you shall go forward and be very great in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus. Lift your hands. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you for everyone, Lord, that is part of this family. Thank you for my children. You gave me everywhere, all over. Manda canole, masandole, manara, katalamasha. Thank you for your blessing for everybody. Thank you for your blessing, Lord, for the children that you've given me, Lord. Mandolo monegedere. Mando coromonde le mendere manda jamanari. Lift your holy hands. May you receive good news. 
cherished news, precious news, good phone calls, good messages, good emails. Throughout this year, beginning from now, be blessed with good news, be flooded with congratulations and good news throughout the year. In the name of Jesus, every form of captivity, every form of power, any entity holding you captive in a lifestyle, in a way, in a habit, in a demonic stronghold, you are released from it today in the name of Jesus. The curse is broken. The captivity is broken. You are dropping out of the hands of the enemy like a coal of fire. Shout amen. Everyone here who is a victim, who has been cheated, misused, abused, spoiled and polluted, receive the power of restoration of the power of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, receive restoration, receive restoration, receive restoration. In the name of Jesus, I declare all forms of blindness and darkness in your life are banished away. The light of God enters your life right now. The guidance of God enters your life right now supernatural guidance shall be your portion receive visitations of angels visitations of the holy spirit guidance from the holy spirit himself today beginning from now you sense the presence of jesus in your room the presence of jesus in your house the presence of angels in your room the presence of angels in your car the presence of the holy spirit in your ministry receive the presence of god i sense the lifting of sieges captivities and long-standing issues long-standing problems complicated problems without answers things that the solution brings another problem and the answer brings a worse problem than the one that you answered today by the power of the blood the last card the blood the blood come out of every siege and captivity in the name of jesus i sense the lifting of the siege over your life now i prophesy to every stormy water Marada Solo that takes you up and down and up and down to the left to the right up and down confusion is banished from your life in Jesus name you will not be confused after today whatever confuses you whatever is uncertain whatever is unclear it has become clear right now Put your hand on your eyes and receive divine illumination and guidance. Every form of confusion and storm is gone right now in Jesus' name. And now, every defeat you have suffered eh, is a temporary defeat. I command it to turn into a victory now in the name of Jesus Christ. You'll never be identified or associated with failure again in your life. You'll not fail any exam again. I said you'll not fail any exam again. You know, one famous man was interviewed. I don't want to mention his name. But he was so famous in the world. Not from Ghana. And he was asked... So what have you not been successful with? He said, he laughed. He said, marriage. My marriages have all failed. I marry one and it fails. I marry another and it fails. I marry another and it fails. Lift your hand. Every particular failure, every particular failure that is associated with you, eh, concerning you, a particular type of failure, Rumba Kanbohona Lingere Mosakala. I enter the spirit and pluck it off you. In the name of Jesus. 
you will succeed in what you failed in last year in Jesus name shame shame listen to me Nataro Mochuri Tarambo Zamandala every unforgiving sin is forgiven now receive cleansing shame is gone from your life for your shame you shall receive double in Jesus name every spirit and power of guilt that leads you and intimidates you every evidence against you I lift my hand in the spirit and rebuke that power that intimidating power that follows you reminds you haunts you torments you be free from it now be free from it now in Jesus name in Jesus name receive the power of acceptance in Jesus name every failure in your life is turning into success today marks the end of all struggles you will no more struggle anymore next year you will not be in this same spot again I said you will not be in this financial spot again you will not be in this marital spot again you will not be in this business spot again you will not be in this crisis spot again next year by this time you have moved to the next level let me hear your loudest amen let me hear your loudest amen lift your hands I prophesy your return Ronald Lajalamadore go forth into 2022 and return to the house of the Lord at the end of the year at the turning of the year return with thanksgiving to the Lord for how he has blessed you how he has kept you how he has done mighty and great things for you go and be blessed go and be blessed be covered be delivered receive divine escapes from demonic attacks demonic surprises wicked surprises by land by air by sea you are safe you are covered from diseases viruses bacteria and every unknown and unexpected calamity that is coming in our direction we block it and escape from it by the power of mercy and the power of the blood of jesus christ of nazareth by mercy i said by mercy you are granted divine escapes throughout the whole of 2022 you shall escape car accidents you shall escape arm robbers you shall escape gunshots you shall escape train accidents you shall escape aircraft accidents you shall escape bad uh, drunken pilots you shall escape drunken bus drivers you shall escape bus crashes you shall escape car crashes in the name of jesus i block you from entering the mortuary this year in jesus name lift your hand and say i cannot go there i cannot go into the mortuary this year by the mercies of god in the name of jesus now lift your two hands whatever seed you have sown that has a harvest a harvest that you wouldn't like to come lift your hand like Bartimaeus Bartimaeus and cry for mercy from the Lord say Lord have mercy let me not reap what I have sown show me mercy Lord like you showed apostle Paul who destroyed the church he fought the church but you showed him mercy for a pattern Lord you showed mercy so we are calling on you to show the same mercy to us Lord 
concerning every seed we have sown oh yes oh yes kneel down and ask the Lord for mercy for every bad seed you have sown in your life everywhere every bad seed Lord Lord the harvest is coming the harvest is coming the harvest of evil the harvest of sin and we pray for mercy oh yes that says the Lord I will show you mercy because you ask for mercy I am the Lord who knows how to mix judgment with mercy I am the Lord who is an expert of mixing judgments with mercies mercies forgivenesses and love Ratch up the mercy of God receive the mercy of God for your life receive the mercy of God if you have spoiled somebody's marriage may God have mercy on your marriage if you have hurt somebody may God have mercy father the mercy you showed to blind Bartimaeus for nobody knows what his family or he himself did but that mercy of blind Bartimaeus let it be shown to all of us as we cry to you this day in Jesus name Amen may you return more blessed more fruitful more abundantly happy in the house of the Lord throughout 2022 beginning from now you'll be serving Jesus serving the Lord with joy and gladness for the abundance of all things it shall come unto you I see in the realm of the spirit something that was flying away but it has turned around and it's coming back it's a blessing it's a blessing that was going to some far away place but it turned around in mid-air mid-air it has been recalled to come may you receive a returning blessing that has been recalled back specially for you in Jesus name I pray Amen stand to your feet please now take your anointing oil and I'm going to read one verse everyone watching please it's very important at this time just one verse and that is all because we, we anoint we even flow prayer meetings we, are, we do anointing but this is a special one hmm nunku santu anbelinobumbus Verse 13, Psalm 105, verse 13. When they went from one nation to the other, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Huh? Yay. Everybody get, if you're at home, take your oil from, go to your kitchen and get oil, please. I'm going to pray for the whole church. And I wish I could have, you could have given you some oil to go and anoint your house. Yeah. You know, there's only one verse that matters this evening. And that is verse 15. Because it says, touch not, don't, you see, when something is anointed, don't touch it. Don't what? Touch don't touch it. It's a mistake. And you can pay a very heavy price for touching Where's the oil? Am I not getting some? I, I want some. Now, where's the bo bottle? Uh huh. Yes, Zoe. Touch not. No, no, Paul. Have you got the oil? If you are home or any church where you are, some oil. Oh, yes, it's just a simple thing. If you don't believe, don't do it. Ah, what is it? Please. Now, how many believe that when this anointing is on you from today, all throughout 2022, anyone who touches you will regret touching you? Nakato ma'alama kabaromo lesama. Ninko akara majom azama. As the anointing goes upon your head 
As the anointing goes upon your life, you are declared to be an anointed person right now. You are now an anointed child. An anointed member of the family. Therefore, this prophecy is applied directly to you. Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. From today, anyone who harms you has himself to blame. Anyone who touches you will discover that it's not everyone you touch. It's not everything you touch. It's not everything you spoil. It's not everything you attack. Be anointed. Be covered with oil from top to toe. Be covered with the anointing of God. Receive the anointing of God. Become untouchable in God's house. Every word spoken against you has repercussions. In Jesus' name. Father, thank you for the blessing you've given to us tonight. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Turn to the person next to you and say, Congratulations, O anointed one. O anointed one. Congratulations. Oh, anointed one. Oh, anointed one. Give the Lord a mighty shout of praise and thanksgiving for what he has done. He has ushered us into 2022, your year of seed time and harvest time. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. Give the Lord a shout of victory. You are anointed to meet 2022 every year. January will be good. February will be good. March will be good. April will be good for you. May will be very good. June will be good for you. July will be a good month. August will be a happy month. Ah, September will be full of joy. October will be your victory month. November, good things and great things will happen. And December, you will be there up to the 31st. Give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. A shout of praise. A shout of thanksgiving. Congratulations. You'll be hearing it throughout the year. You'll be hearing congratulations. Well done. Oh, I'm surprised. I never knew you were so great. I never knew you were so nice. I didn't know you have a beloved. I didn't know you were getting married. I didn't know it was your birthday. Congratulations. What a blessing. I didn't know it was you. I saw you in the newspapers. I saw you on the news. I thank God for your life. You'll be hearing congratulations. Blessings. Congratulations. You'll be wearing your white dress this year for your wedding. Your blessings are overflowing. Oh, I see you on an island enjoying certain things few people have ever imagined. Receive it. Be anointed. Be anointed for 2022. Anointed for 2022. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Whatever you couldn't accomplish in 2021, even with the pandemic, look at how strong you are. Receive supernatural strength to overcome all stalemates and sieges in Jesus name give the Lord a clap offering and you may be seated in the house of the Lord wow 